The heart of the car is the engine, because without it, the car is not going anywhere. However, car makers are not just content with putting an engine in the car, they want to put the best to outdo their competition. This is why Toyota is always working on its car engines. The latest engine from the Japanese company blows everything out of the water. What is the new engine released by Toyota and how powerful is it? Stay tuned as we bring you Toyota's insane new motor that changes everything. Toyota is among the top car makers globally. The company sold almost 10.5 million cars last year, even when the whole industry was not doing so well thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic and chip scarcity. So how come Toyota has the trust of millions of people worldwide? Despite the competition getting hotter, Toyota still makes quality cars, which makes them have models in the rankings for top automobiles in almost every category. The company also makes a wide selection of cars, so everybody will find something they want with a Toyota or associated badge. In fact, few automakers can match Toyota in variety. Thanks to their high quality, Toyota cars have a high resale value. You can even buy a used Toyota and expect to get a decent price when selling at some point later. One more thing in favor of Toyota is the availability of spare parts. You certainly don't want to have to purchase a car and then wait for months to have a replaceable part from the manufacturing country in case you need a repair. The brand is widely popular all over the world, so whether you drive a Toyota in a remote area of South Africa or a town in Bangladesh, you will find spare parts available from your dealer. Besides, mechanics that can handle Toyota cars are everywhere. There is, however, another reason why buyers rush to Toyota cars. The engine. Due to a focus on engine research and development, Toyota has made the best-in-class engines that the market cannot quickly forget. The company made its first engine, the Type A engine, in 1934. That was two years before making its first passenger car, the Toyota AA, in 1936. In May 1934, Toyota began creating prototypes of the cast parts used in cylinder blocks and pistons for the Model A engine, which was based on sketches of the 1933 model Chevrolet sedan engine. Toyota completed the first prototype engine on September 25, 1934. The parts manufactured in-house were limited to cast parts, including a cylinder head, cylinder block, and pistons, while imported Chevrolet parts were used for crankshafts, camshafts, valves, plugs, and electrical components. However, when Toyota fitted the prototype in a Chevrolet truck, the engine could only produce 48 to 49 horsepower during a driving test instead of the output of 60 horsepower that the Chevrolet engine produced. From those humble beginnings, Toyota has become a master engine designer. For example, it made the 1JZ GTE inline 6 engine, which produces 320 horsepower and 315 pound foot of torque. The MK4 Supra actually owes its success to the six-cylinder 2JZ GTE underneath its hood. For more than two decades, the 2JZ's nearly indestructible nature has been proven on applications, pushing out as much as 2,000 horsepower. The brute of a cast iron block makes all of this possible and means as much as 750 horsepower can be yours with very few mods. Toyota also made the 4AGE inline 4, rated for 112 horsepower and 97 pound foot of torque. One of the first fuel injected four cylinder power plants to feature a twin cam 16 valve layout, this mill was loosely based off Cosworth's legendary BDA series of engines. Nearly three decades later, the aftermarket continues to support this classic four banger as much as ever. However, with the release of the Dynamic Force engine, Toyota has taken its engine game to another level. This new engine is the new king of thermal efficiency. To fully appreciate this new engine, it is important to understand gasoline thermal efficiency. The term is how much of the potential energy in gasoline gets converted into power that can be used to move your vehicle. Internal combustion engines do this by injecting that gasoline in a fine spray in a mixture with the air in the cylinders the piston squeezing it into as small a space as possible and lighting it with a spark. When it ignites, it explodes and expands, pushing the piston back out with incredible force, and the pistons turn the crankshaft, which is connected to the transmission, which is connected to the drive shaft, which is connected to the wheels, with various parts and gears in between, directing and controlling the power to make sure the wheels turn, but not so fast that they simply spin faster than the tires can handle. However, there is a problem with the setup just described. 
When the combustion takes place, some of the power is lost to friction and excess heat. This renders the average gasoline combustion engine running at about 35% thermal efficiency. Engineers have been working tirelessly for more than 100 years to reduce the energy wasted and convert as much of that energy and gasoline to moving the car or powering your AC. What the engineers at Toyota did was look at every stage of the engine cycle and tried to find ways to make it not only more efficient in terms of saving gas, they then looked for how to convert that saved gasoline into more power, increasing the thermal efficiency. Toyota looked for inspiration from a place where efficiency is paramount, Formula One. The company borrowed several technologies from the racing cars to achieve high-speed combustion. Three changes in particular helped Toyota to accomplish high-speed combustion and ensure the air-fuel mixture burns more completely, which produces more power with every combustion. One of the changes is the angle of the intake valve. The angle of the intake valve and shape of the intake port guide the air-fuel mixture in a specific pattern to spread it more evenly within the cylinder, so it combusts more quickly and more evenly, producing more power and less waste. Secondly, the laser-clad valve seats allow for optimized valve angle and airflow direction to create tumble flow, a more controlled swirl pattern in the combustion changer that distributes the air-fuel mixture more evenly ahead of the compression phase. Third, a taller, narrower cylinder means the igniting mixture takes less time spreading across the cylinder, again speeding up that combustion moment and more of its force pushing the piston down, which provides more torque and greater efficiency. But Toyota engineers didn't just stop there, as they made use of additional tried and tested strategies to maximize the thermal efficiency of the new dynamic force engines. Toyota's D4S fuel injection incorporates both direct and port injection, the two systems combining to provide greater efficiency and smoother operation during normal driving, but relying solely on direct injection when maximum power is needed. Meanwhile, the pistons themselves have a special finish to reduce friction. An electronic thermostat works in concert with an electric water pump to regulate temperature for peak efficiency. All these strategies culminate in a world-best 41% thermal efficiency in hybrid applications and 40% in gas-only vehicles, with more torque and power at any engine speed and better fuel efficiency and emissions. The new Dynamic Force engine helps Toyota to fight for every percent in the efficiency race. The 2.0-litre 4 is compatible with the new 6-speed manual transmission Toyota has developed for global needs. The transmission is more compact and lighter than Toyota's current unit and incorporates rev matching capability. Toyota has equipped the 2022 Toyota Camry with the Dynamic Force engine. The engine is tuned to make 209 PS and 253 Newton meters. Let's hear what you think of Toyota's new Dynamic Force engine in the comments section below.